Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. My name is David and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to, we're going to talk about one of my favorite television series. Unfortunately, it's not on TV anymore, which is very unfortunate because I love this show, man. Today, we are going to talk about Tripping the Rift. Tripping the Rift was on the Sci-Fi channel around, I think it started around 2004. And uh, during that time, I just got out of high school. I just graduated high school in 2004, and I just entered college. So this this was like one of the first adult TV shows I got into, you know. Um, yes, it is for mature audiences. It was on like, late at night for that reason and stuff like that. And uh, if you are into Star Wars, Star Trek, Battlestar Galactica, Men in Black, Aliens and Predators... Uh, whatever show that has to do with space or aliens or whatever, you would love this show because they parody the show like crazy, man. The show has lightsabers and Sith Lords and, and spaceship battles and stuff like that. You know, it was a great show. I love this show, okay? So let's go through all the, the stuff I had that's tripping the rift. Um, <clears throat> I got all the DVDs plus the movie. Now, this was the... Uh, if this show was still on... This would be like, I gained a cult following through the years, so I, I would imagine that they, they, it would be really successful, okay? Um, I like this show more than South Park and Family Guy. Now, if you saw my South Park and Family Guy videos, um, you notice I, I bought a lot of stuff. I got posters, I got action figures, I bought e every season of those respective shows on DVD, and I got like plushies and, and little mugs and hats and t-shirts and stuff like that. I love those shows, but I love this show more, and it's very unfortunate it's not on TV anymore. I think if they brought it back, I think if they brought back Beavis and Butthead, Futurama, and Tripping the Rift, those shows would be completely successful today. Like, like they, they have built up a huge fan base through the years, you know? Cult followings and whatever. Um, I believe Futurama, they will be bringing that back to show. They will be making, like, new episodes. It's not going to be just, like, random movies anymore, you know? So, okay. Let's go ahead and talk about the show. Tripping the Rift um, was on Sci-Fi from uh, 2004 to about 2007. Uh, the show takes place in space, and uh, there was a conflict in space between the Confederation, which is an obvious parody of the good guys in Star Trek, and the Dark Clown Empire, which is a parody of the bad guys in Star Wars, led by Darth Bobo, the evil Dark Lord of the Clown Empire, and the show does have laser swords and droids and blasters and aliens and such like that. Um, the show follows Chode, the captain of their talking spaceship, who they call Bob. And Chode is always horny. He's always seen looking at dirty magazines and banging bimbos. <laughs> uh, that's his science officer, Six. Um, the sex slave robot, she's always using her smoking hot looks. But also her intelligence, or artificial intelligence in this case, um, to get them out of trouble. Um, the disgusting Tanook, <laughs> Tanook Layer is her full name. If you spell her name backwards, it spells Royal, <laughs> well, I can't say, Tanook. T N U C, spell it backwards. <laughs> but in the show, it's spelled with a K instead of a C. But uh, that's the type of person she is. She's a Royal C. <laughs> Um, that's, uh, Whip, Chode's nephew. He's, uh, the teenage, bumbling, uh, hormone dude who's, uh, always getting them into trouble, the crew. And then there's Gus, the, the, the gay robot. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, those are the main characters of the show. Um, so, yeah, imagine all the adventures these guys can get into. A sex bot a horny bastard, perverted teenager, a royal C, and a gay robot. <laughs> um, so yeah, I love this show when it was out. I watch it all the time. Um, the main character, Chode, was voiced by Steven Root. You may recognize him from Finding Nemo, Ice Age, The Lone Ranger. Um, Six uh, had a new voice actor every season, so... so uh, she was voiced by Gina Gershon in Season 1, Carmen Electra in Season 2, and Jenny McCarthy in Season 3. Yes, Playboy model Jenny McCarthy voiced her in Season 3, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at all the, all the DVD sets, okay? You can find this, I don't know where you can find this now, probably eBay is probably the best place, but here's the, the slipcover on the outside, alright? I don't know if you want to pause and read all that. 
Um, yeah, cult item in the making, I would agree with that. Steven Root, Gina Gershon. Yeah, so you can pause that right there. Read the little things. I have a couple special features. All right, so that's the, the, the outside slip cover. Uh, here's the inside. So uh, there is a chode and six fondling right there. Six fixing her feet. <laughs> there, there's a crew. Um, so if you open this up, it's pretty cool. You see the sexy characters right there. Three disc set, DVD. All right. So over here we see the characters and uh, the little booklet. Here, let's take a look at the booklet real quick. We got a uh, advertising for some sci-fi shows, and we see a. Uh, this is really cool. It's a it's a biography of all the characters in the show, and plus what episodes are on each disc. That's Chode and that's Darth Bobo. Okay, so there are the characters right there. Very hot. <laughs> so there it is. Um, there's a little booklet. Here are the disc. So there's disc one. All right, and there is some artwork in the back. I I I, I can see. So let me let me get the disc out there. Okay. There's disc disc two. Can you see that? Pretty cool. And there's disc three. Mm-hmm. All right, so that's the that's the first season. All right, let me close this up. I'll put it back up on the. Uh... All so here's the season two set. All right, got six and show right there. There are the bonus features on the disc. Here's the, uh, the little read up right there. And it says right there, think South Park in space. All right. Pretty cool. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and see what's else inside. <clears throat> Recycling artwork, as you can see. <laughs> uh, there's a little booklet. Uh, advertisement for Battlestar Galactica on the same channel that I was on. Okay. The booklet has a personality test inside. <laughs> And uh, look at the characters listing of all the episodes. Pretty cool. You can see right there all the characters. Uh, FYI, each episode took months to make. So as that was one of the reasons why they stopped making the show is because uh, you know the show won't wouldn't catch up. All right. So that's season two. <clears throat> uh, the movie came out first, I believe. So let's take a look at the movie. All right. Whoa. There's the movie. The disc. Chapter select. Booklet. My receipt. <laughs> Finally, season three, two disc set. There the disc. Once again, recycling artwork. There's the booklet. Very sexy. Let's take a look at the booklet, shall we? So, uh, got some colorful pages, a little quiz right here. More, more questions for the quiz. And six is sexy. Seductive eyes. <laughs> and uh, you can find your score in the back. There you go. All three seasons. Plus the movie. So, uh, I don't know if you've seen this show. Um, I'm sure you would like it if you watched it. So, uh, I don't know what else to say, man. So, uh, thank you for watching. Rate, favor, subscribe. Talk guys later.